Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is February 9th, 2024 and before we jump into Nyx here, as per usual, I want to go with the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as the TCG Player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters, you guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, Let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Orcish Bowmasters, and this is the borderless copy from Lord of the Rings, down 5.12% from $47.85 to $45.40 for its market price, and its average price is $49.20. Itali Primal Conqueror from March the Machine. This card is down 5.15% from $20.98 to $19.90 for its market price, and its average price is $22.18. Jetmir's Garden from Streets of New Capenna. This card is down 6.96% from $19.41 to $18.06 for its market price, and its average price is $20.44. Grim Tutor from Corset 2021, this card is down 7.22% from $20.90 to $19.39 for its market price, and its average price is $20.05. Grief from Modern Horizons 2, this mythic is down 8.15% from $22.57 to $20.73 for its market price, and its average price is $24.66. Utvara Hellkite, and this is the anime borderless copy from Ravnica Remastered. It is down 9.29% from $11.09 .09 to $10.06 .09 for its market price, and its average price is $11. Field of the Dead, and this is the borderless special guest copy, down 9.64% from $34.87 to $31.51 for its market price, and its average price is $31.34. Archaeomancer from the Secret Layer series, this card is down 10.88% from $21.51 to $19.17 for its market price, and its average price is $19.15. Expedited Inheritance, and this is the extended art copy from Murders at Karlov Manor. This card is down 18.57% from $5.44 to $4.43 for its market price, and its average price is $4.73. Alandra Skydreamer, and this is the Commander card from Murders at Karlov Manor. This card is down 20.13% from $6.11 to $4.88 for its market price, and its average price is $5.84. Inti Seneschal of the Sun from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This card is down 22.05% from $5.26 to $4.10 for its market price, and its average price is $4.75. Birds of Paradise from Commander Lord of the Rings, this card is down 22.87% from $5.51 to $4.25 for its market price, and its average price is $5.84. Anzrag the Quake Mole, and this is the showcase copy from Murders at Karlov Manor, this card is down 23.25% from $15.18 to $11.65 for its market price, and its average price is $14.49. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Crashing Footfalls, and this is the Borderless Special Guest copy from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And this card is up 11.41% from $13.41 to $14.94 for its market price, and its average price is $15. And the next winner on our list today is Thousand Year Elixir, and this is the Commander Anthology copy, up 15.31% from $8.62 to $9.94 for its market price, and its average price is $9.98. The Commander 2021 copy is sitting at $9.22 for its market price, and its average price is $9.17. And the Commander 2013 copy is sitting at $8.48 for its market price, and its average price is $9.49. And the version on the list is sitting at $9.53 for its market price, and its average price is $9.70. And the original copy from Lorwyn is sitting at $8.94 for its market price, and its average price is $10.54. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format, and the Commander that utilizes this card the most is Cranko Mobboss. Next up here is Leyline of the Guild Pack, and this is the extended art copy from Murders at Karlov Manor. It's up 17.13% from $9.75 to $11.42 for its market price, and its average price is $15.25. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $11 for its average price, 
and the regular copy is sitting at $8.15 for its market price, and its average price is $9.10. And this card is being played mostly in the modern format right now in Domain Zoo decks. However, also see some commander play in decks like Goshinte of Life's Origin and Omnath Locus of All. And the next winner here is Breach the Multiverse from March the Machine. This rare is up 23.43% from $4.78 to $5.90 for its market price, and its average price is $5.53. And the pre release copy is sitting at $8.50 for its average price, and the promo pack copy is sitting at $4.06 for its market price, and its average price is $5.19. And the extended art copy is sitting at $6.51 for its market price, and its average price is $7.16. And this card is seeing most of its play in the standard format in decks like Rakdos Midrange, Rakdos Reanimator, Golgari Midrange, as well as Orzhov Control, and even Rakdos Reanimator decks. However, also see some commander play in decks like the Myko Tyrant and Captain Nagathrod. Next up here is Aklazot's Deepest Portrayal, and this is a showcase copy from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It is up 25.91% from $4.40 to $5.54 for its market price, and its average price is $4.38. And the regular copy is sitting at $3.83 for its market price, and its average price is $4.37. And this card is being played mostly in the Pioneer format in decks like Rakdos Midrange, as well as Mono Black Discard. However, also sees a ton of standard play in decks like Rakdos Midrange, Esper Midrange, and also Demir Midrange decks. Next up here is Call Forth the Tempest, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Lord of the Rings. It's up 27.04% from $4.66 to $5.92 for its market price, and its average price is $4.89. And our final winner on our list today is Hollowhenge Overlord from Commander Innistrad Crimson Vow. This card is at 50.56% from $8.86 to $13.34 for its market price, and its average price is $10.77. And the extended art copy is currently sitting at $5.24 for its market price, and its average price is $5.87. And this card is going up mostly because people want to include it in the new commander, Voya Jaws of the Conclave from Murders at Karlov Manor. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Reprocess from 7th edition, this foil is up 16.67% from $60 to $70 for its foil market price, and its average price is $106.47. Phyrexian Obliterator, and this is the showcase step and complete foil from Phyrexia, all will be won. This foil is up 20.96% from $10.45 to $12.64 for its foil market price, and its average price is $11.10. Cyan of Draco, and this is the Retro Frame Foil from Modern Horizons 2. It is up 27.11% from $4.39 to $5.58 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18.98. Goblin Pile Driver, and this is the original foil from Onslaught. It is up 27.49% from $58.83 to $75 for its foil market price, and its average price is $68. Mog War Marshal from Time Spiral, this foil is up 29% today from $5.52 to $7.12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.19. Dark Ritual from Mercadian Mass, this old frame foil is up 32.14% from $248.98 to $329 for its foil market price, and its average price is $316.49. Irrigation Ditch from Invasion, this old frame foil is up 46.62% from $5.62 to $8.24 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.28. And our final foil here is a Murders at Karlov Manor card, Cryptid Goat. Cryptid Coat, and this is the extended art foil, and it's up 56.92% from $3.90 to $6.12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $17. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow into YouTube's algorithm. With that being said, let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again on Monday for my regular Market Mover series. However, I will be back tomorrow for the Saturday's Week's Winners Edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care.
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.